Yeah, yeah. Go and play that. Take you down, I'ma say that. Money, me a couple dollars. Telling you now, this payback. Huh, so I swear take that. Ask them now, we'll say that. I've been going to the top and I got what they not, so I know that they hate that. Uh, but I'm on now. Everybody. What is going on? Welcome back to another video. We are reacting to Patrick Mahomes today for the third time in my life. Probably about the thousandth time for you guys looking at Patrick Mahomes. But look, today we're going to react to Patrick Mahomes. It is a lengthy video. It's seven and a half minutes long, so I don't want to talk too much. Uh, he's the quarterback for the Chiefs, and he's the fourth best player in the NFL voted by the players. Now after watching this list I've come to realize that the way that they do this is they give every position, every player, sorry, a piece of paper with 20 numbers on it. There's no restrictions, no position restrictions, no player restrictions. You can put down whoever you want, any player, any position, any number. You've got to list 20 players, your top 20. And that's how they work out this list. They might give them a few clues, a few names to like write down, but basically they started off with who's number one, and they tell them who's number one, and then they work down from there. So, guys, if you don't say yourself as your number one player, what are you really doing in the league? Surely, like, you know, it, it's not full of yourself. It's not, it's, it, it's, uh, it's just a quiet confidence, I think, putting yourself down as number one. And you never know, you might even make it on the list. Now, Patrick Mahomes. Let's do this shit. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is You with me? Four more players to go, man. Wow we, how'd we do this? I don't know. Yeah, Mahomes will be up. This was his first season, wasn't it? Patrick Mahomes and Barkley, both in their first season, both made the top, well, top 16. But I mean, these guys just killed it, didn't they? He stole my hairstyle, and now everybody thinks that I stole his hairstyle. <laughs> you stole my hairstyle, bro. So we have a problem with that. No, he's a good dude, man. Hey, before you go, I'm saying congrats on a great career. Thank you, bro. Pretty yeah. so awesome. Tell you what, man, I had a good run. Who's he talking to? A lot, of, a lot of moments, but the first moment will have to be uh, his rookie season when he came to Denver to play us. They were already in the playoffs, so they sat some of the starters, and you know we weren't in the playoffs, so we had our starters playing. Hang on, did Mahomes play a season before? I think he might have actually. He did. Did he? He did. He did. He went to KC in 2017. Played one game because he was behind Alex Smith. He he, he gave he, he had his first career start in their Week 17 game against the Broncos. And that's that's probably the game that Von Miller is talking about. He wasn't the typical rookie quarterback. He made all ten plays. He was able to complete the homeless passes, come back and win the game. When I seen him throw that ball, I was like, oh my god. Just watching that game, I was like, uh, Alex, you're in trouble, man. <laughs> Alex, my boy. Shit, man. They're, talk they're literally talking about that one game that I just read about. They sat Mahomes on the bench the whole entire season until the last game. And he goes and kills it. What was his stats? What was his stats for that game? Let me see. 22 passes completed from 35 attempts. 284 passing yards. No passing touchdowns. One interception. And uh, no rushing touchdowns. So he didn't produce any touchdowns. But then the next year, 
Last year, he produced 50 passing touchdowns, guys. 50. You know, but that kid right there, he has to do a field goal and he has to play. Like, he has to play. All three guys are in ball. You got to f off. You're not going to get a rush. Did you see that? Look at his eyes, man. Look at his eyes light up. Bro, look at that shit. He's about, he's thinking, he's he's trying to trick the defense and he's going to do a little, a little pass into the end zone. But, uh, no, he's going to keep it, man. Look at that shit. It's crazy. Yeah, we got to get last year. I'm thinking, you know, it's going to be some of the same stuff, but... See, I also like the fact that when you're going for a diving touchdown like that, out wide, you only have to touch the pylon. Now, in rugby, you would have to ground that ball in the end zone within the white lines. Whereas, if you're diving in football, you can sort of dive out and just touch that top of the pylon. You know what I mean? It is easier. It was on a whole other level. The ability for Patrick Mahomes to escape the pocket for pressure and the arm strength to throw on the run off the zero platform is simply amazing. This guy... Yeah, that reminds me of Madden. <laughs> the Chiefs were probably my favorite team to play with uh, on Madden, Madden 19. And uh, the play action passes that I pulled off with um, Patrick Mahomes across the field, pretty much exactly like that. Miller! Let's go! Yeah, Patrick Mahomes is a real dude. Get it, baby. Gotta be a team. Nah. From what he did, he's an MVP for a reason, so he, yeah, he gotta be a top five player. When you get an opportunity in this game, you make a play. What's the matter? You make a play. He does have some pretty cool hair, I must admit. Patrick Mahomes spent his first season as a starter making ridiculously hard throws look ridiculously easy. They threw for 5,000 yards and 50 touchdowns. They came in all shapes. Insane. Insane. That man, that man, uh, he, he does some crazy stuff. <laughs> He's a magician, man. He's just throwing the ball crazy. Like, crazy. How do you do that? I don't know how he got that ball through there with such accuracy while he's running through the ball. Oh! The ability has to move around. Well, he's got Kelsey, the cheat code. He's got Hill. He's got... Who else has he got? Pocket and then just flick it whenever he needs to bring the chest to some guy. It was getting pretty frustrating playing him. When we seen him play the charges, it looked like he was about to throw the ball away while he was running out of bounds and boom, found a guy in the end zone. So it's like playing like that, it's kind of like kidding. <laughs> Look at the crowd go up. That's so good. But I've heard coaches say the quarterbacks don't do this and he does those things. And they work out tremendously. You just sit there and, and run the film back and say, did he really just make that throw? Watching the Seattle game, he's rolling to his left, he's throwing back across his body, and a funky arm ain't. Well, I mean, he's just a really fun player to watch. That was all Patrick Mahomes. I'm telling you, he took off like he was going to run, and then out of the corner of his eye, how he mm, saw look at that. Kendrick West, I have no idea. Oh, how good, how fucking good. He completely split that defense with the ball. You know, we've got a saying in, in, in rugby, the ball always, this is a saying that you'll talk about with your back line, you know, um, passing the ball, okay, passing the ball between players. The ball always travels faster than the man. Okay, so if you've got four guys lined out in front of you, and you've got four attackers. If you pass that ball fast enough, there's no way that they can actually cover that field fast, fast enough to get to you. The ball always travels faster than the man. And that's exactly what happened there. He could have kept running, but he knew that that ball was just gonna split that defense. He's got a rocket arm. 
And that's exactly what happened. How good? He went through that you've never seen. Travis Kelsey was to my right, and it was me, offensive lineman, and Patrick Mahomes. I lost Patrick Mahomes, but I see the ball coming out around the oh. offensive like sideline, on the money to Travis Kelsey. That's just a little three quarter play. That's hard enough to do with a ping pong ball. That's sick. A three-quarter flick, they said. It's a football. Yo, this guy is different. That was a ball, man. It was a basketball. Kalei Campbell. Six foot eight. Man, that kid's special. That's one thing I can tell you. He do, he do, that you just like, you can't coach it. He's doing things at the quarterback position that uh, people have never seen before. Um, don't want no look. Man, let's get some MKP on this guy. Passes. Imagine one of these guys sitting there doing their interviews with a nice MKP logo across the front of their jumper. One of our black crew neck jumpers with the white logo. Man, that'd be sick. I've got to try and set that up. This was against us, and then, and then every time I get on my Instagram on the feed, is watch how he did the no look pass. I know, we, we obviously know how he looked this way and threw it this way. <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of a guy called Carlos Spencer, uh, King Carlos actually, in fact I, I put up a highlight video of him um, on my channel, you can go check him out. He uh, is an ex All Black First 58 who basically was one of the pioneers of, of the no look pass. He, he ripped up defences with that for sure. And if you want to talk about flip passes, out the side of the hand, out the bottom and stuff like this, the equivalent of Patrick Mahomes pulling off those passes in the game as well as he does, there's a guy called Sonny Bill Williams who loves a little flip pass out the side or a flip pass behind him. And uh, you know, it comes out of nowhere. You think he's tackled and then all of a sudden a massive amazing flip pass comes out of the back of, back of his hand. It's like, how the fuck did you do that bro? I'd say one thing, he's got massive hands Two, he trusts himself, and three, he is a magician on the field. Now imagine Mahomes throwing that pass, but behind his back. That's the kind of shit I'm talking about with Sonny Bill Williams. Game face, baby. Oh, I remember that one. I tell you what, the only emotion that's going through me right now is looking forward to fucking playing the game again, man. Getting out there myself. I'm not playing quarterback, I'm playing running back, but man, this is getting me pumped. Who was the first guy? Was it Peyton Manning? Let me check. Peyton Manning, there you go, 55 touchdowns in 2013. Tom Brady, 50 in 2007. Patrick Mahomes, 50, 2018. And Peyton Manning was number fourth. So he's actually equal second. Actually, 
no, 50 touch, oh, and 5,000 yards. Okay. Yeah. Damn, man. What a bloke. What a bloke, what a guy. And I cannot wait to see him play this next season. Now. Oh, I was never going to get that one. Khalil Mack. That's the guy who I couldn't think of. There's no, no, nah, there's no way in hell I was going to think of that. <laughs> Number one. Well, Khalil Mack. All right, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, if you want to support me, you want to support the channel, hit that fucking like button. Because it's a huge help. I tell you what, likes are like currency for us YouTube creators. It's a way for us to see your reaction to the video without actually, you know, talking to every single one of you. Without reading and replying to every single comment, the like to dislike ratio and also the like ratio to how many views you've had is huge. It's huge, guys. So look, if I, if I can ask, I'm only gonna ask this once, but next time you open a video of mine, if you know you're gonna enjoy it, if you do enjoy it, hit the like button as soon as you open that video. Give me the like, then watch the video. And that'll be more than enough for me. Anyways, guys, that was my look at Patrick Mahomes. In the next video, we're looking at Khalil Mack. That's been a name that's been pulled up in my comment section a hell of a lot recently, probably due to the fact that I haven't actually reacted to him. So with that being said, I'll see you guys back here shortly to check out Khalil Mack once and for all. It's four minutes and 35 seconds long. Well, hey, see you soon.